All right, as soon as you're ready, I want everybody getting jumping jacks. Once I see everybody moving to jumping jacks, I'll start taking you through. If you work with me one-on-one, -on -one, it's gonna be similar to some of the live uh, warm-ups I do for you guys. So as soon as everybody's giving me jumping jacks, I'll start calling it out. All right, again, welcome. Wednesday, January 27, 6 p.m., doing a live warm-up. Once Mises finished fixing her watch, I'll get it going. <laughs> All right, we're going 10 seconds here. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Squats in 3, 2, and 1. Squat position, let's go. Give me squats up and down. 15, 14, 13. You've heard me say this before. I like to do 15-second intervals at times just because it kind of breaks up the minute into quads, right? Going another 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. We're going to go into high knees in 3, 2, and 1. High knees, give them to me. Good, 15 seconds, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Ankle taps in four, three, two, and one. Ankle taps right here. 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three mountain climbers in two and one. Crawl it out, push up position, run out to those mountain climbers. All right, let's go. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Elbows down in two and one. Hold that plank position. 15 seconds right there. Not moving, just getting down to your elbows. 15 seconds. 14, 13, 12, 11. Make sure your back is straight, butt is low, stomach is tight. Shoulders are over those elbows. Go for another seven, six, five, four, three on your back in two and one. Give me 30 seconds of regular crunches now. You don't have to give me bicycle crunches. Just make sure your legs are in a tabletop position, 90 degree angle, right, from the quads to the calves, and then bring those elbows to those knees. Short movements. <clears throat> Just a little pumps here. 30 seconds like that, all right? Going down for another 27, 26, 25, 24, 23. 22, 21, and 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. Flip it over to push up position again in 4, 3, 2, and 1. Now you're giving me floor jacks. That's push up position, but jumping your feet apart and together. All right, 15 seconds here. 15 seconds. There you go. 15, 14, 13. Try to keep your shoulders right over your wrists. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. Back up to your feet and jumping jacks. Finishing out in 3, 2, and 1. Jumping jacks. Last 15 seconds. Then I want you guys shadow boxing. All right. Last 15 here. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. And we're in shadow boxing in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Good. Let's go. Give me punches, give me kicks, give me defense, give me foot movement, head movement, right? Maybe you could defend with the legs. Some stuff is active defense where you're actually getting hit. Some stuff is passive or evasive defense where you're just moving out of the way. You know, that's basically the difference between blocks and slips, right? You can do the same thing with the legs. Good. And as always, you're going to hear me say this over and over because it's never not true. Uh, well, it's almost never not true. I don't like to say never about anything. It's not scientific. <laughs> but 99% um, of the time, it's not true that uh, it's uh, important to warm up the brain just like it is the body. All right. And shadow boxing is a little bit more doing both. But that's why I like to do a little bit of general movement like jumping jacks and squats as our body warm up. And then a little bit of shadow boxing as our brain warm up. Sometimes we don't shadow box, we just go right to it. That's usually because we're gonna do that stuff right uh, early on, but it's a good way to wake up both systems, all right? Brain and body. Let's go 15 more seconds. I like what everybody's doing, all right? Also, this also kind of increases the mobility. You know, it's one thing to get warmed up in a general sense, but then this is a little bit more specific warm up in the motions that we're gonna be doing, right, throughout the class, right? Using the hips and the shoulders, ankles and knees elbows, wrists in the way that we're actually going to be throwing them throughout class. Last five seconds, five, four, three,
three, two, and one. Good. You know what to do. We're stretching now. Feet wider than our shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale. Reach down for the ground. Just let everything stretch out. Backs of the legs. Lower back. Let's just hold it here for a few seconds. Let gravity set in. Good. Bend that right leg. Extend the left. Reaching for that left toe. You could lean that foot forward a little bit to get a stretch on the inside of the leg. And then switch it over to the other side. Bend the left leg. Extend the right. Reach for that right toe. Good. Lean forward a little bit. Get a uh, stretch on the inside of the leg. Back to the middle. Bend the knees. Push them out with your elbows. Sit that butt down. Good. Slowly stand up. Straighten those legs. Come up all the way. Good. Pull the right ankle towards you. Pull the left ankle towards you. Cross the arms in front and back. Good. Big circles back. Big circles forward. Grip the hands in the middle. Give me back twist. Side to side. And then last thing, hands on the hips, head rotations in either direction. Three, two, and one. All right, so I have a few different uh, leg drills that we're going to do, a few different exercises. Uh, I'm going to go over those first. We're going to start with that, and then we'll go into some of these uh, combination slash drills. They're going to be combinations technically, but they're, uh, they're not very fancy. It's really just to kind of get you... Uh, work in one side of the body and then we'll work the other side of the body. I'll explain that as we get closer. So first I want a double squat and then a round kick. We're just going to do this for about 30 seconds and then we're going to do a double lunge into a push kick. We're going to go back and forth for about a minute and then we'll go to some other stuff. All right. So basically what I'm looking for is just a double pump at the bottom. So you're going to go down all the way once and then a halfway, right? So it's squat uh, and then pump, right? So one, two, round kick, back. One, two, round kick. One two, round kick. That's the first part. Second part is going to be a double uh, rear lunge into a push kick. I'll tell you when to switch over. I just want you to see uh, both before, right? One, two, kick. All right, switch. One, two, kick. Bring it back. One, two, kick. Bring it back. One, two, and kick. All right, so we're going to be doing a lot of that today. We're going to start with this first, and then I'll bring you some other stuff, right? We're going to start with that double squat into the round kicks, uh, round kicks, in five seconds, all right? So you know what to do, double squat, round kick right, double squat, round kick left. Starting that in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Work those legs. Did a lot of stuff in push-ups yesterday. We worked that upper body, so I wanna make sure we uh, get these legs ready for the rest of the week. I also know that we have some uh, snowy weather coming this weekend. It better be real snowy weather, because it made it me Think that we were going to have some a couple days ago and we didn't and i feel robbed by the uh by the meteorologist but it's okay they can get things wrong it's very difficult to predict the weather but if they tell me snow i want to see snow i'm a fan what can i say 15 seconds from here 14 13 anyway the reason i said all that is i want you guys to have strong legs and uh solid solid i want you to be solid in your base when you're walking in the snow and the ice you're not falling over you're not tripping all right so it's not just a workout it's uh, protection for you guys, so you don't fall on your face in the icy, icy weather. Four, three, going into the lunges in two and one. Now you're going to the lunges. Double rear lunge, straight kick. Double rear lunge, straight kick. All right, let's go. So you're lunging and kicking with the same leg. All right, so if you do the double lunge with the right, you kick with the right. You do that double lunge with the left, it comes back and kicks forward. All right, so... Lunge, lunge, and then same leg kicks. All right, Evan, so if you have your left, if you're doing the double lunge on your right leg, kick with the right leg right after. So three movements with the same leg. Lunge, lunge, kick, then switch to the other side. Yep, now go to your left, left leg, double lunge, and then kick, same side. That's it, perfect. Keep it up, gang. 18 seconds from here. 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three seconds. Just going to some open shadow box and freestyle in three, two, one. Good. 
shake out those legs a little bit, throw some kicks, throw some punches. I'm going to show you another. So that's going to be the A sequence, right? We're going to come back to that once, maybe twice. All right. That's the A sequence. The B sequence is going to be on the ground. It's also going to work the legs, but I think it's going to be a little bit more cardiovascularly uh, intensive. And I'll show you that in just a sec. 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and one good so we're going to go into gorilla crawls with push-ups when uh the name the moniker does not come out of nowhere one of the things i'm known for is my gorilla movements and all these kind of ground movements i do one of them is the gorilla crawl so we're going to go side to side with push-ups uh i have very limited space here but if i'm able to do it here um you guys should be able to do it at home all right so i'm going to get up close enough to make sure because i'm going to we're going to uh, uh, push back into push-ups but what you can see what you can't see actually if i move this down a little bit you can see my knuckles are going to be on the ground. You can do it knuckles. You can do it yeah, your fingertips, your hands, whatever's comfortable. But I like to do it on my knuckles. So uh, I'm going to go to the side twice, right? And the more room you have, the better, all right? So, yes, it's uh, January 27th. I still have my Christmas tree up. It's in the way. Otherwise, I would move more. It's not taking it down until I see more snow. Ready? So I'm going to go one, two. All right? Notice, what did I do? What did I not do with my hips? My hips did not come above my knees, right? I'm going to come back the same way, all right? So one, two. Right. The idea is to shift your weight onto your arms, right, onto your knuckles, and then just bring your bring your you're on the balls of your feet. Notice I'm on the balls of my feet. My heels aren't down. I'm on the balls of my feet. So I'm gonna go to the side twice, and then I'm gonna uh, do a push up. So it's gonna be one, two. I'm gonna push back, push up, and I come back. One, two, back, push up. All right. So it's two crawls, one push up. Two crawls, one push up. That's the first part of the movement. Right. We're gonna do that for 30 seconds. Second part of the movement is going to look like a burpee, but technically it's not. All right. What we're going to do is we're going to sprawl, hips and hands, and then we're going to tuck jump. All right. So there's no push up. It's just my, my arms basically never bend. So sprawl, tuck jump, sprawl, tuck jump, sprawl, tuck jump. And that's the second half. All right. First 30 seconds, two crawls, one push up. Let's go. I'm counting. So go to the right two, uh, two times, push up. Come back to the left two times, push up. There's a push up on either side. So go back to your right, Des. One, two, push up right there. Good. Now back to your left. One, two, push up right there. Good. Keep that up. 25, 24, 23, 22, 21. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. In five seconds, you're just going to crawl left to right, two times left, two times right, the same gorilla crawl, but no push up in four, three, two, and one. Let's go. Two crawls to the right, two crawls to the left, two crawls to the right, two crawls to the left. Just going back and forth. All right, keep it up. 15 seconds, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. You're going to start going into that tuck jump into the sprawl in 4, 3, 2, and 1. Good. Tuck jump, boom, down, sprawl. Come up, tuck jump, and sprawl. 30 seconds. Good. 29, 28. 27, 26. Remember, there's no arm bending here. There's no push up. What's up, Ariana? What's up? 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17. Get control on those feet. Remember, when we're landing, we're landing light. We're landing on the balls of our feet and we're, we're absorbing our weight. We're not slamming into the ground. One of the big things when I was uh, in karate, we were Black Hat Kem Kempo Karate. So our whole thing is that we were always very light on our feet. You couldn't hear us, right? Same thing with you guys. I want you guys to make sure you're landing light on your feet, not only for strategic uh, um, uh, reason, right? Because we should always just be light in control of our feet, but also for protection of your knees, your ankles, all that. Five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one, and time. Good. 15 seconds. Just sh shake it out. Shout a box. All right. Catch your breath. And now we're going to go into these uh, first couple drill combos. All right. 15, 14, 13, 12. 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 
one and uh, end time. Good. So now what I want you guys to do is we're just going to basically work the uh, lead side. All right. We're going to work the uh, front side of our, oh, I make this spotlight for everyone. Continue. All right. Good. So we're going to make this the um, uh, first combination, just the lead side we're going to work. All right. So we're going to go jab, hook, uppercut, check, push, kick, side kick all right all with that front leg my back hand my back leg my backside didn't move at all right so i'm keeping my back hand up always protecting my face right but it's jab hook uppercut let's add an elbow in there i didn't throw the elbow let's do the throw the elbow jab hook uppercut elbow check straight kick side kick basically all the stuff you can throw with that front hand right for the most part cross i'm mean, sorry jab hook uppercut elbow check straight kick side kick all right let's leave it just like that just gonna keep drilling that all right so you can do it very consistent like i did or you could throw it you know go all the way through it and then move around bounce around start here again but the idea is to you know let's say you have to protect that rear side maybe you have something wrong with that back leg maybe you broke your hand right whatever it is you got something important in your hand you got to protect yourself protect that whatever it is all you can use is that front side how are you going to do it? All right, let's go. And again, this is another good way to make sure that you are keeping your uh, your rear hand up by face, protecting yourself. Now that I'm getting close to the camera, I'm sure you guys can see my jujitsu rug burn battle scars on my face. If you've ever done jujitsu or even, you know, traditional karate, uh, you know, the geese are very, very uh, rough, very... Um, not soft, I'll put it that way. So they can rub against you. Sometimes you get in uh, headlocks or you're escaping something and your, uh, you know, your skin gets scraped off the face. But here's what it is. It's the fight game, all right? You guys are looking good. Keep that backhand up. Keep that chin down. Everybody keep your chin down. Keep your hands up by your face, elbows in, in front of your ribs. Good. Jab, hook, uppercut, elbow, check, straight kick, side kick. Nice. Beautiful, beautiful. You guys, the side kicks look much better today than they did uh, yesterday. We made those couple, a uh, couple adjustments, and you guys picked it up very nicely. Good. Let's keep going. Another forty-five seconds. I want you guys to pick up the pace for me a little bit now. All right. All right, I'll, I'll add that later. Good, 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 good. Not, not bad. 35, 34, 33, 32, 31. Last 30 seconds. 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. One quick thing I see with a lot of us students with the up, uh, with the lead uppercut. So when you do that lead uppercut, I like what everybody's trying to do, right? We're trying to really dig in that uppercut because when we throw that uppercut from the front hand, we don't want to bowl, right? We don't want to just be here and then throw the uppercut with our, you know, our shoulder straight and just kind of swoop the hand up, right? We want to we want to dig into it, right? So I, we, we, what we call digging in. What we assume is our opponent's hands are like mine are, right? They're kind of close. There's only a little bit of space. So we got to get in between them. That's why we don't just throw the uppercut. The body shot is different, comes from the side. But if you're trying to throw that uppercut, you have to thread between my two elbows, right? And reach up the middle, which is why we twist and dig. What we don't want to do is go too, uh, too much into that, right? And lean backwards, right? So it's one thing to be here and then lean up the middle. Notice I'm still pretty much everything in a straight line, shoulder, shoulder, elbow, wrist. If I'm here, bang, I come up and from the side, I look like this. Boom, right? However, what I'm not doing is this. And I see some of us leaning back, all right? Mostly all of us. <laughs> if I'm being honest, we're all doing it just a little bit, right? So the uh, so I want to make sure I'm not throwing, I'm not digging in so much that I'm leaning backwards and then I'm off balance. Right now I'm here and if they catch me, boom, foot comes up, I'm on my back, right? So when you twist, twist everything in a straight line. If I need to, my hips kind of come in a straight line, my shoulder goes in a straight line, and I dig up the middle, but I'm not doing so much so that my 
head and my shoulders are back this way. All right. Does that make sense to everybody? I want you to spend about 20 seconds just playing with that real quick. Throw that lead up a cut. Bang. Bang. It's here, right? It's in the shoulders, right? I go from here to this position and I pop my hips forward. I'm not popping my hips back while my arm goes up. All right. Better, better. And you're going to notice that that front leg is going to twist a little bit, but you don't want it to twist so much that now your hip is all the way over here and my arm is back here, right? You want everything to still be. You want your hip to pop forward, not pop that way. Pops that way for the hook. Pops kind of forward for the uppercut. All right. And, you know, there's like, there's areas of gray in between, right? It's not all black and white. So it's going to work sometimes uh, like that. But you want your best to not throw yourself off balance by leaning back when you throw that uppercut. All right. Five more seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Now we're going to do the same thing on that backside. All right. So cross, hook, uppercut, elbow. Then I'm going to throw a straight kick. I'm going to put the check in the middle because I want it to happen right before the roundhouse kick. All right. So cross, hook, uppercut, elbow. I'm going to throw that straight kick, check, and then I'm going to throw a roundhouse kick on this leg. All right. We didn't throw the roundhouse kick on the front leg. We threw the side kick instead. We're going to throw a roundhouse kick on that back leg. All right. So from here, just drilling it through. Cross, hook, upper. Where's my front hand the whole time? Protect, protecting myself. Right. One, two, three, boom. Elbow, straight kick, check. Bang, roundhouse kick. All right, so again, cross, hook, uppercut, elbow, straight kick, check, bang, round kick, and right back to it. All right, let's go. Working that rear side now. Everybody on the on the call right now, everybody on the uh, in the workout is a righty. So this is basically a right, you know, our right for everybody. We did our left before, now we're doing our right. But you've heard me say it before, I always like to think of uh, the strikes in relative terms, your front side, your rear side, because not everybody's a lefty, not everybody's a righty. And I think, you know, you always have to think in terms, I think it's helpful, more helpful to think in terms of your opponent and whether you're going to, you know, throw a strike from your rear hand or your front hand, uh, regardless of what stance you're in. Because uh, for a split second, you might find yourself, you know, especially in an MMA situation, you might find yourself uh, flipped. You might not be with your right foot back if you're right. You might find yourself in a place, position where your left foot is back. So rather than think throwing my left hand, I got to throw my right hand. It's better sometimes to think I got to throw my front hand. I got to throw my rear hand in terms of what's going to be more effective, what's going to land better. Des, when you throw that elbow, when you throw that elbow, I want you to come across more. Sometimes you, it looks like you're like you're playing the slots, right? You're throwing your hand down and that elbow comes around, but the, the power looks like it's coming down in the palm. Oh, you can put your, you can throw into it, but throw forward. Don't just throw down, right? Yeah, exactly. As you throw your wrist down, make sure that the momentum isn't coming here, right? It's coming there. It's coming across. All right? Yeah, that's better. That's much better. Good. And then, Charlotte, for you, when you throw the elbow, I want you to fold your hand a little bit more. Sometimes when you throw the elbow, your arm looks like this. All right? Almost like it's throwing a hook. The hook can come here or here, right? The elbow should be almost your palm, almost at your chest here, right? Sometimes you're going to see they throw elbows with the arm a little bit more open, but even when they do that, the elbow is still coming across. Yeah, I want you to bring that elbow all the way across your chin. Much better, much better. That's it, better. Nice. Nice, Evan. Very good. Very, very good. Good. Misa, are you checking with your back leg? Is that check? Everything's on the right. Okay, for a second, it looked like the other side. It's hard to tell sometimes, but all right, keep going. You look good. No, no worries, no worries. 45 seconds, gang, 45 seconds. Keep it up. You know, sometimes I might try to correct something that you guys are already doing uh, uh, doing right. Um, you know, I could see a lot, obviously, on you know, on this screen. I have my brightness up always, but uh, but sometimes it's tough, you know, because of backlighting, whatever. So if I'm telling you to do something you're already doing, just, you know, just tell me to shut up. No, don't do that. I'm your sensei, but still, you know, let me know. <laughs> 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Good. I want you to really hustle now. Last 30 seconds. I know it's, it feels monotonous, but this drilling is what, what makes you better at stuff, right? Especially uh, one thing I didn't mention is throwing multiple strikes from the same hand helps you speed, or multiple st strikes from the same limb, whatever, helps you with speed in that limb too, right? So if you're throwing two, three, four strikes from that same right hand, uh, that same rear hand, that's how, that's how you're uh, able to kind of work on that fast twitch muscle, the type two fibers, 
specifically type 2x if you really want to know the science but uh, you work on them by you know fast movements fast movements fast movements all right last 15 seconds 15 14 13 12 11 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 two one and time good let's go to uh let's go to sequence a drill a it's the double squat round kick double squat round kick and then we're going to do that for 30 seconds let's do that for 45 seconds why not 45 seconds and then we'll go into the lunges all right let's go double squat round kick good it's that pump pump kick pump pump kick good i'll give you guys some more time cues you're already five seconds in I know it probably felt like more, but I didn't start counting until I saw everybody move. 37, 36, 35, 34, 33. And again, these don't have to be super fast. Uh, you know, fast is you know, not always better, but often better. But, uh, but I, I care more about consistent and, uh, you know, and full movements. Really, really get through it. Uh, you know, get into a rhythm, right? Last 30 seconds, 29, 28, 27, 26. If you can, think about your hand placement. I know this is more just of a leg drill, but if, uh, if you're not struggling, I mean, you, you might be tired, but if you feel comfortable with the movement, even if you're tired, separate things, right? Think about your hand placement. You throw that kick, go into that double squat, boom, roundhouse kick, double squat, boom, roundhouse quick. 18 seconds, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, Five, four, three, going right into the lunges in two and one. Now, double lunge. One, two, kick, switch. One, two, kick, switch. Remember, as you throw these kicks, one hand up by your face, the other hand extends. All right? Boom. And then I bring my leg back. All right, let's go. Same thing, going 45 seconds on this one. You're already 11 seconds in. Three. Good. Let's go 30 seconds from here. All right, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12. Keep those elbows in. Don't let those elbows bow out. Keep the elbows in front of your ribs. All right, hands right here. Pow. All right, last 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, plank position. Let's go. Elbows down, holding it one minute. One minute plank right here. Again, you're not trying to move. You're trying to catch your breath. Elbows down, back straight, but low, stomach tight. Now, again, as you're in this position, you can squeeze different parts of your body to try to distribute the weight, right? So for the most, you know, your elbows and your the balls of your feet should be on the ground. But if you squeeze, you know, kind of at your armpits, you squeeze your chest a little bit, it's going to take a little bit of weight off your stomach, right? If you squeeze your stomach, it's going to take a little bit of the pressure off of your shoulders, all right? And the more you can kind of actively squeeze everything, the more, uh, you, you know, you're going to obviously feel, feel it in those muscle groups, but you're going to try to dis uh, distribute the weight. It's the same thing if you ever tried to pick up, um, you know, if you ever played that game, you try to pick up someone when like uh, stiff as a board, right? So when a person actually holds their body stiff, it's easier to pick them up than if they just do dead weight. It's actually a self-defense thing. They tell people if someone tries to pick you up, uh, you know, from uh, from the front, from behind, whatever it is, just kind of go limp. If you go limp, it's a lot uh, more difficult to manage the weight, even if it's the same weight. So uh, it's the same thing with your body. When you hold yourself in a stiff position, you know, the better your plank is, the, uh, the better the weight distributes uh, amongst everything that's touching the ground and should be a little bit easier to hold. So work that stomach is the uh, short explanation of all that. You got seven seconds. Don't worry, I keep my eye on the clock. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Just to make sure that we uh, give one last little run to each side of those bodies, we're going to do one-handed uh, one um, squat thrusts, all right? On either side, we're going 30 seconds either side. And then we have a couple of technical rounds coming up, all right? So one-handed squat thrusts. Uh, let's start with the left hand first. Left hand goes by your face. You're going to squat down. Left hand goes on the ground. Jump both feet back. Jump them and then come up. So basically, you're protecting yourself right here, right? So you're in your fr front stance. Squat down. Hand, feet, back. Down. Hand, feet, and back. So just so you can see, again, I mean, it should be obvious. 
right? But I'm here, hand, feet, back, up. Hand, feet, back, up. 30 seconds, starting in three, two, one. Have at it. Let's go. 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20. I'm like your human stopwatch. 19, 18, 17, 16, 15. Good. Control. Control your stomach. Control those legs. Control that shoulder. 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Good. Get to a solid position on the ground. 5, 4. You're going to switch. Same thing with the other hand in 3, 2, and 1. Now left hand stays up. Right hand goes down. Go right to it. Let's go. Right hand and then both feet. 30. 29, there we go, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, you got this, 4, 3, 2, one and time. Very good. On your feet. Good. Shake it out. 15 seconds. Keep it open. We're going to go into a technical round. You just move it around. I'm going to describe the technical round while you're, while you're shaking it out. We're going to go two strikes with the left side, two strikes with the right side. I don't care what they are. I just want that pattern. All right? So it could be a jab. Well, let's say, uh, oh, I'm sorry, lead and rear. I have L and R, but it means the same thing. Lead and rear. So you could go jab, straight kick, cross, rear kick, right? It could be jab, elbow, knee elbow could be knee front kick front kick cross doesn't matter i want two strikes from the front side two strikes from the rear side all right so basically it's four four hit combos every time i want i want four in a row two come from the front side of your body two come from the rear side of your body doesn't matter hands or feet does that make sense thumbs up all right cool let's start that we're gonna go one minute with that in five four three two and one let's go just moving around this doesn't have to be super heavy. We're going to do a 30-second attack at the end of this, but it doesn't have to be uh, crazy for this first, uh, first minute. But I want, you know, I want good effort, 50 60% of your energy, right, just working. It's a little bit more of just, you know, technique and thinking, right? I did four on my front, <laughs> front side just now, but two and two. Pop, 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 pop. And again, at once you get comfortable, this is when you start mixing it up. Maybe the first few times you do foot, uh, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot, hand, foot. Then you start doing maybe double with your hand on the front side, maybe hand and a kick on the on the back side, right? Punch and a kick on the on the rear side. Maybe you throw two kicks from the front side and then a punch and a kick from the rear side. You know, there's different ways to, uh, like Legos, you know, different ways to kind of take these things apart, put them back together. But there's a template. Two strikes from the front side of your body, two strikes from the rear side, all right? Good, you got 30 seconds. And then at the, uh, at the end of this work round, this one minute technical work round, you're gonna give me an all out 30 second attack, anything goes. I'll tell you when that starts, you got about 22 seconds to go. 21, 20, 19, 18. Right now you're still working that pattern, right? Two strikes from the front side of the body, two strikes from the rear side of that body. Good, last 10 seconds. When I say go, you're gonna go into a full attack in nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four. We're attacking all out in three, two, one. Let's go. Put some power into it. No patterns, just freestyle attack. Bang. Let's go. <laughs> Little axe kick from yesterday. 20 seconds. 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Good. Let's go into a box step, right? One, to the side, back, to the side, forward, to the side. This is your recovery. Back, to the side. All right. They, I know they use this in dance, too. My sisters and I joke about it, but we can use it with our fighting stance just as a way to recover. Step forward, step to the side, step back, 
step to the side. You can see I'm moving in a box, right? Forward, side, back, side, forward, side, back, side. All right, it can be nice and steady. Just catch your breath, work on your footwork. 10 seconds, nine, eight, then you can relax in seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Next round is one, two, one, all right? Usually I do two, one, two for New York City. We're gonna go one, two, one. What that means is I want one strike with the hands, two strikes with the legs, another strike with the hands. Same thing, it's a four hit combo, right? But one, one punch or elbow, just one upper body, two lower body, and then one upper body, right? So it's one, two, and one. Doesn't matter front side leads, uh, uh, front side, rear side. I don't care what, I just want one strike with the upper body, two strikes with the lower body, one strike again with the upper body, all right? But in these four, these you know, kind of quad combos, make sense? Four, four hits, one, two, one. We're starting that in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, one minute, you're just working, just working, all right? And then same thing, we'll do a 30 second full out attack at the end of this. Get a little bit closer, see what everyone's doing here. So again, you're thinking here, you're thinking, right? One strike with the upper body, two strikes with the lower body, and then another strike with the upper body. Good. And again, this is like, you know, most of the stuff I do, I try to, I try to ground and I try to contextualize, uh, contextualize a lot of what we do in strategy and how you, uh, how you hit somebody. Right. And you know, it's not very complicated, you know, your head, body, head, body. Right. So we're hitting, you know, we're, we're throwing a punch to their face to make them worry about protecting their face. And we throw some kicks maybe down to the legs or to the stomach. Right. It doesn't have to be, you could throw a kick to the face too. Right. Uh, you know, I didn't, I didn't uh, make any, stipulations about where these uh, strikes had to uh, land but you know first they're worrying about punches then they're worrying about kicks and they're worrying about punches again and that kind of mixing up of uh, of strikes is what will throw them off and create opportunities create openings for you to actually land some stuff all right good 27 seconds 26 25 24 23 22 21 20 good keep those elbows in 19 18 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9. Let's go. 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. You're going to go into that attack again. Anything goes, but I want 30 seconds of real effort and intensity. In 3, 2, 1. Let's go. 30 seconds, full intensity. Pick it up, pick it up, pick it up. Can be loose. Doesn't have to be a, a, that doesn't have to be anything fancy. I just want to see you guys work. I want to see you move. I want lots of punches, lots of kicks. I want power in those punches, power in those kicks, all right? Keep going, 18, 17, 16, good. Nice, nice hook. Keep those elbows in, Charlotte, Misa. Good, don't lean too far forward, Evan. Keep that chin down, but keep your body weight balanced. Nice, keep those forearms straight. Des, you know, there it is, I need, there you go. Last eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good. Going back to the B sequence. All right, B sequence. Gorilla crawls plus push up. So two gorilla crawls, push up. Two gorilla crawls, push up. All right. Demonstrate again quickly. So one, two, back to the push up. Right. One, two, back to the push up. All right. Let's go. Forty-five seconds here. Good. 37 to go. Nice, nice. Don't stop. 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5 seconds going into those sprawls and tuck jumps in 4, 3, 2, 1, go, sprawl and tuck jump, let's get it, sprawl, tuck jump, sprawl, tuck jump, you know what to do, good, remember there's no push-ups involved here, so tuck jump and then dropping those hips to the ground, all right, let's go. Keep it up, keep it up. 35 seconds left. Good, 
Last 30. Breathe, breathe. I know these are tough, especially after a long workout, but you guys are killing it. We're almost at the end. Good. 15 seconds. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7. Six, five seconds, we're in plank position. This time only for 30. In four, three, two, one, and time. 30 seconds, let's go. Plank position, elbows down, catch your breath. Good, butt straight. Good, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Good. We're going to stay on the ground quickly. Do one last stomach thing before we uh, end with some live combos. All right. So what I want us to do, we're going to do uh, triangles. All right. Triangle chokes. It's a drill we do in, uh, in jiu-jitsu. I think I did this with uh, with one of my classes uh, last week. So from here, the idea is that we have somebody in a choke. Basically, I fold my leg over their bodies here, and I'm going to choke them out with my legs. All right. So I'll do it from this uh, from this direction because I think this is most helpful. You see behind me. All right. Good. So watch. When I'm on my right side, I'm going to fold my right foot over my left. When I'm on my left side, I'm going to fold my left over my right. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring my hips up now. Uh, just to be specific, when it comes to technique, really what you're doing is you're driving your hips up and folding. But for this, to keep it simple, we're just going to bring our hips over to the side and fold it at the, uh, at the end. What I mean by that is, watch, I go to my right side, I fold. Go to my left side, I fold. I go to my right side, I fold. So I'm bringing my hips 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, right? So triangle over, triangle over, triangle over triangle over side to side all right let's try that for 30 seconds that's it you got it evan very good you got it Mies. so i know i had to kind of keep a weird angle but i, I just wanted to see that you i want you guys to understand what my legs were doing on either side good and basically what you're doing is when you bring your hips up you have somebody what's called in guard it means you you know they're sitting down right uh right at your butt, you have your legs wrapped around them. It's a somewhat suggestive position, but, uh, but you see it in MMA all the time. You see it in grappling jujitsu. And if they, uh, if they move, you get the opportunity, essentially, you uh, drive one of their hands kind of through that, through that space in your legs, uh, in between your legs, and you end up choking them, right? So this choke, basically, it's a wind or, or a blood choke. It goes right around the throat. And, uh, you know, there's some other components to it, but really the most important, important part is this. So you make this triangle space with your legs and then you squeeze. Good. 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's just end with 30 seconds of uh, jack knives. All right. So leg lift, hip raise, down, up, here, down, up. Good. I used to call them needles. I've, I learned them as needles. I heard somebody, some people call them jackknives, but we're just doing the leg lift. And then at the top, popping those hips up. Very similar, very, uh, very similar set of uh, movements, right? You can do it controlled. You should always do everything you do controlled, but uh, you could really drive your hips all the way. Get all the way up onto your shoulder blades if you want. Or if you can just get, you know, the, just your tailbone off the ground a little bit, that's fine too, all right? Obviously, the more advanced to get all the way up, Bang. Right? But but sometimes when you do that, you also slow down the movement so you don't get as many reps in. Either either works. So I want you guys to work that set of muscles. All right, 17 seconds, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5 seconds. Everybody's on their uh, feet, just bouncing in 4, 3, 2, one, good, on your feet and bouncing. Just keep it nice and easy, all right? Just getting ready. We're gonna go into live combos. I'm gonna call out the combinations, all right? Whatever I call out, you respond. You know the deal. If I say, you know, four straight punches, you throw four straight punches. If I say two hooks, it's up to you to throw them with one side or to throw them with both sides. If I say 10 roundhouse kicks, 
You could throw them with one leg or you could alternate. It doesn't matter. I just want you to throw the combination once and then get back right to here, just getting ready. All right, everybody's bouncing. Show me you're ready to go. All right, let's go. Double jab. You know me, I love that double jab. Double jab, cross. Good. Cross, hook, cross, kick. Any kick. Good. Uppercut, hook, cross, knee. Double jab. Double jab. Good. Jab, cross, roundhouse. Good. Uppercut, cross. Double jab. Double jab, roundhouse. Jab, cross, hook, check. Good. Check, push, kick, roundhouse. Nice. Double jab, cross, roundhouse. Jab, cross, hook, cross, dip, cross, hook, cross. Good. Double jab. Push kick. Push kick, side kick. Good. Push kick, side kick, cross, body, cross, body shot. Cross, body shot, cross. Good. Double jab. Triple jab. Good. Double jab, cross, hook. Cross hook, cross hook, round kick. Good. Push kick, round kick, double jab, cross. Hook, cross hook, elbow. Good. Elbow, elbow, switch knee, double jab. Good. Jab, push kick. Jab, switch kick. Jab, cross, uppercut, switch, axe kick. You got it, Mies. There you go. Inside crescent, cross, hook, cross. Other way, Des, try it again. Inside crescent, cross, hook, cross. <laughs> try it one more time, Des. Back leg comes across. Inside crescent, cross, hook, cross. <laughs> All right, everybody, stop. That was good. We're going to end it there. Let me just, let's end it with that fix. So. Des, you were very close, but you just kept switching your leg, but you just kept doing outside crescent kicks. All right, so outside crescent, out, that's it. Outside crescent is this, inside crescent is this. So when I say outside and inside, most of the time I'm talking relative to your center line, right? Think of your spine as your center line, right? Everything, we talk a lot about that in Wing Chun, right? That's uh, what Bruce Lee studied. So if I say inside crescent kick, that means the strike is going towards the center line, right? Uh, from from the originating side, right? So in, inside crescent kick would be here, right? Outside crescent kick goes away, right? The strike goes away from the center line. Does that make sense? Cool. All right. Anyway, great job. That was uh, that was a little bit of a longer round. I know I kept you guys a couple of minutes. So let's get down to a deep bow. You got that down now, right? Does that mean you you usually have it? You have it down, no problem. I think it was just, you know, I had you guys do a lot of leg stuff, so maybe a little bit turned around. All right, so as always, let's think about something that we are grateful for. Let's think about something, hopefully in class, that's, that'll, that, you want to, that you want to work on or that's stuck with you. Let's uh, do a little mini meditation. Put those couple things in your brain. We're going to focus on that, meditate on that for a couple of deep breaths, down and deep bow. So diamonds up and us down, deep bow. One more deep breath in and exhale as you come up. All right, guys, awesome work today. And I'll see, if, I'll see pretty much all of you this weekend. So <laughs> I'm excited about that. Uh, stay warm in the next couple of days. If you have any questions, uh, let me know. But uh, I'll see uh, you guys this weekend. Otherwise, have a great one. All right.